Hi, I'm Dr. David Targan, and welcome to BioBytes. Biotechnology has made major contributions to healthcare and agriculture for over two decades. And this success has driven the technology into a third and very exciting phase of industrial and environmental biotechnology, which includes the creation of bio-based materials. This simply means that we are looking for ways to use biotechnology to make the manufacturing of common products sustainable through the use of renewable resources. Take plastics, for instance. If you look around right now, how many plastic products do you see? Everywhere, right? We are all concerned with the enormous use of petroleum for energy. Still, countless other products like your water bottle or lunch container are made from plastics, which of course are made from fossil fuels such as oil and natural gas. We all know that most of our oil is imported from overseas at great cost. And this is many of us looking for creative solutions closer to home. In some cases, producing and discarding petroleum-based products also can be a major contributor to global environmental degradation. Here's where bio-based materials are paving the way to reducing reliance on our diminishing fossil fuel resources. And this is good news for our planet. Biotechnology is now introducing new green plastics that are made with sugars from corn or other plant materials and not petroleum-based materials. And some of these may be in your house right now. This giant leap forward will mean that bio-based materials should help lessen the environmental impact of our society's widespread use of plastics. Think about it. Plants are a renewable resource. The various materials biotechnology can make from plants can often replace those made from fossil fuels, which are not renewable resources. And because the materials are derived from plants, this opens up a world of possibilities for composting or recycling. In 2001, the world's first modern biorefinery owned by NatureWorks opened in Nebraska. They converted sugars from field corn into polylactic acid, a compostable biopolymer that can be used to produce things like packaging materials and clothing. Now, companies like Whole Foods, Walmart, and several other national retailers are using PLA packaging. It's the beginning of a whole new way of thinking about plastics. Also, some fabulous PLA-based fabrics made their debut at the 2006 Bio International Convention in Chicago, which featured dresses made by Oscar de la Renta, Halston, and other leading designers. So, PLA doesn't just look good, this bio-based plastic uses 30 to 50% less petroleum in its production, which results in lower CO2 emissions by 50 to 70%. For BioBytes, I'm Dr. David Targan.